everybody, it's Wes and I'm back with another video today and we're going to be talking about Ubiquiti's UAP ACM, otherwise known as Unify Mesh. These are the outdoor waterproof uh, APs. They are wireless or they can be wired uh, direct with a Cat5 cable to your router. Uh, remember, you've got to have at least one router already existing in your system. You, you have to have a router for this to connect to. I'm going to be running a combination of four of these daisy chained off of my daisy chained wirelessly off of my ACAP Pro that you see right here. Um, they're going to go down my street about a block and I'm going to see about getting a wireless connection all the way down my street and then afterwards I'm going to be giving these away. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video. If you have any questions or comments about this unit right here, be sure to put them in the comment section down below. I'll also put a link to this unit right up here. Um, and uh, actually I'll put a card in it uh, for some other videos and then down below in the descriptions I'll put a link to this device where you can get it. I will tell you these things rock. Anyways, uh, let's get this thing started. I now have a new one sitting uh, in the back of the studio way back there. I have, like you can see all of them on the screen here, I have a total of four of the uh, Unify Mesh systems. And uh, this one here, I'm gonna go through the complete quick tutorial with you for the adoption process and to set it up and uplink it and make it work. And you can follow this for as many as you want. Well, you can't have as many as you want, but um, up to however many you want to put on your system. I'm going to run four, and once again, these are going to be daisy chained wirelessly. So they're going to uplink to the AC Pro wirelessly, and then I'm going to uplink number um, one to number two, and number two to number three, and number three to number four. So here's the process. The first thing we're going to do is click on this unit right here, which just has a device name of its MAC address. We're going to go right over here to adopt and we're gonna click on adopt. If you notice up here, it's saying pending an adoption. We're gonna click the button. It's now adopting it. This usually goes pretty fast. Um, and it's about 10.43 p.m. It's currently adopting it. Let's give it a refresh and it's provisioning it now, as you can see right here. And it, give it another refresh. It takes a couple of minutes to provision it. So uh, while it's doing that, we've got our screen here that we need for uh, what we're going to set up. So we're going to go into configuration. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the name of this to Mesh 4. And that's just so we can keep track of these so we know which one of these that we're connected to. We're going to save that configuration. Now over here, you'll see that it's no longer got a MAC address for name. It's actually got the name of Mesh 4. And then... Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the radios and in order for all of these units to talk to each other, they must have the same channel on each radio. So for the 2 gigahertz channel, we're just going to put that on channel 1 and on the 5 gigahertz channel, we're going to put it on channel 36. Now you can make a streamless connection with these so you never lose your connection no matter where you go on your network like if you're going down the street, but for this test, we're going to run them individually so we know exactly which one that we're connected to. Are we connected to Mesh 2, Mesh 1, Mesh 3, Mesh 4? And then once we get that test done, we'll actually call these the same thing in, in um, uh, the SSID. So all the SSIDs will match and then we'll know exactly which one of these radios that we're connected. Or we won't be able to know exactly which radio we're connected to as we're going down the street. Um, we would be able to tell in the software, but we just want to see if we can like get a stream, a, a seamless, uh, like say movie stream or a FaceTime stream or something along those lines. Um, so anyways, this is now provisioning. It should be done by now. Yeah, it's now connected as you can see right here and over here under Mesh 4. We've changed the channels to 1 and 36. We're going to queue those changes here and now we're going to apply those changes. So those are done. Those are the important steps there. Um, I'm going to close this down. Now right here in this little menu bar on the right of the screen, there's, there's going to be a thing that says wireless uplinks when we get to that point. Um, but first we got to unplug this unit from the router, uh, wait for it to reboot wirelessly, and then this will appear, it'll say wireless uplinks, and then that's where we'll uplink it to um, mesh number three on the left side of the screen here. So right now we're going to go into the wireless lands and we are going to give these a new name and for testing purposes we're going to call this um, UAP AC Mesh 2.4 meaning it's the 2 gigahertz channel 
and it's the fourth unit. And this is where it gets important for us. Um, and then here we're gonna call it five, uh, four for five gigahertz and then the fourth unit. This is how we'll know which one we're connecting to as we go down the block. And I have them named the way I do for the software here so it's easier for me to do all the uh, technical glitching and all that good stuff and reporting. So we've queued the changes, we've applied the changes. All of this is done now. This is now ready to be unplugged and to go wirelessly and then we'll uplink it. The only thing I did, once again, was I changed the name and I saved it. I went into the radios, I put channel, uh, the two gigahertz radio on channel one, I put the five gigahertz channel on 36, I saved those changes. Um, and then I went into the wireless LAN and I gave them a specific SSID or Wi-Fi name. And that's it, it's that simple. Now um, it says it's still provisioning now from what I just did and it's no longer provisioning, it is now connected as you can see right here and over here. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and go to the back of the studio. I'll be right back. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna unplug it from the router. As you can see, uh, my PoE switch and the connection to the router. If you can see this, I'm gonna unplug it. It's now running wirelessly. I don't need to, I don't need to unplug it from the power and reboot it or anything. I just need to unplug it from the router. And then in just a second, you'll see that this is gonna go into an isolated state. When I refresh, now this will take a minute or so. There's our isolated state right now. And now over here on the right, you can see where it says wireless uplinks. And this is where we're gonna to wanna to go here in a minute. And we're gonna uplink this to mesh three. And in order to do that, we are going to click it right here on this little link. And that will give us our uplink to mesh three. We don't want to uplink it to these other ones because we're daisy chaining it. Now we could uplink it to the other ones, um, but for this test, we're going to just do them, like I said, one, two, three, and four. Well, I'm going to hit the wireless uplink here anyway. So we're going to go to mesh three here under wireless uplinks. As you can see, I'll make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to just connect, just click on this. And then we should see up here adding mesh four to uplink mesh three. And let's do another refresh. If it's now provisioning number three for the uplink we just did. Number three is back to connected wireless. Now if we can just get four to do it. There we go, now number four is connected. Now number four is saying that it's connected in just a second it'll say connected wireless video and you're good and there we have it we're connected wireless and that is that fast once again uh, I appreciate you watching if you have any questions put them in the comment section down below please subscribe and like this and I'll see you on the next one